Hello, Lola's. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe to this channel now by smashing the red subscribe button and clicking the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you guys are not a part of the chatter box, please check out the link in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join that, and it is $1.99 a month. Um, all transactions are um, handled by YouTube themselves. I do not handle any payment information as well as um, other members cannot see you in the group unless you cooperate, you know, participate, then they will know you're in the group. But other than that, only I can see the members in the group. But it is a place for us to have dolly conversations and just be ourselves without the outer trolls and so on and so forth. So anyway, today I'm going to get um, Phoebe dressed. And for those that might be new to the channel and may not be following me on Instagram, it'll, yeah, it'll follow me on Instagram, Miss Serenity Smith, um, where I post tons of pictures. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram and you're new to this channel, this is Phoebe. And Phoebe is the Willow Awake kit, um, sculpted and poured by Claire Taylor Dolls. And, um paint it by myself and so I am going to get her dress I'm going to undress her actually then get her dress and I am going to just talk about a little bit about Phoebe little things about Phoebe a couple questions answer a couple questions that people may have asked me about Phoebe um if you guys are new again this is mostly information for new people I know the people that's been following me for a while know um, she's the same sculpt as Nigel but Nigel was actually totally completed by his sculptor he is a prototype number three and then I have the sleep version of the willow that is also the prototype that was completed by the sculptor but they all share the same body style for the most part there are a few little things um, that's different but um she is a bit softer than the boys um and with silicone every pore is a little bit different um no matter if they use the exact same formula from what i understand they still can some can still be a little a little different but not that much because like the boys they're almost Although they were poured at two different times and stuff like that, the, the softness of them is almost um, identical. Um, I can barely tell any difference. I can't tell any difference, to be honest, um, in them. <laughs> I swear you'll think I live outside because these walls must be really thin. But anyway, um, so someone asked, did she have armatures? She does have elbow armatures. Anytime that I can get elbow armatures, I try to get them because I really like them. Um, because she still has her, you know, movement. Like, you know, she still, her hands still fall and stuff. But she, um, but she can also hold her hand up and down and stuff like that. So it gives me a little bit more pose. But I'm sure with the new softness that if you don't have armatures, you can still pose them really nicely. Um, so I'm going to get her changed. She does not have a drink and wet. Um, of course. Um, because the two boys have a drink and wet, it's not really that big a deal. And I honestly actually really just like the drink and wet in the boys more, more, so, than the, more so than the girls anyway. Um, I don't know. It just, th when they drink and wet with the boys, it's kind of like a waterfall. And the girls, it's kind of like a trickle down. It really is no big funny to do with it. Um, so I am going to 
get her dressed. And like I said, I'm still kind of, she's still kind of a work in progress. There's still little things that I need to go back and touch up on her and stuff like that. But I was just tired and just taking a break from um, painting on her for right now. Um, I'm not going to change her color, her overall look. But there's some little touch-ups and stuff like that that I want to, to do to her. Um, I even thought about going after a boy. <laughs> um, and getting another one and painting the kid again because I want to try a different color. But, you know, that's just me. I know people are like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. But that's just me. I, I like to see the same sculpt painted several different ways um i i couldn't figure out how i wanted to paint her her belly button when i was painting her but she has a more of a um any instead of an audi and the boys have an audi so um what else she's in one piece so but her head, as you can see, turns really easily. Um, she does have a tongue. Um, and then she has gums. I don't know if you can see that. But she has gums. And she has a uvula inside. Which I did paint all of that in the inside, of course. And um, she has like, kind of like tear ducts in her eyes and stuff. Her ears are deep, like she has a little hold in her ears. Like if you were taking, she was a real baby, you take, you know, clean inside the ears. She does have that. She has cute little armpits, so, which is pretty cool. Um, it helps when you're picking them up. Um, all her toes are together on this foot, and it's a ball foot. But this one have a separate toe and a separate pinky toe. But the other three are joined together. So, and it's kind of like an open foot. And then she has the open hand. And all her fingers are separated. And here, it's kind of open, but this one is closed in together. Um, like she's doing the okay sound sign. Um... And yes, she, she wrinkles really, really nicely. So she she does wrinkle really nice. Um, again, um, let's see. Let's see. I was trying to see if I could take this paper off. She has a cute little bum bum. So they do have a cute little bum bum. And the the sculpting on the bum bum is really nice. And her, you know, like her bike, back, bike, <laughs> her back shape is really, really cool. So like I said, she's really, really soft and flexible. Whoa. <laughs> so as you can see, she's she's pretty flexible. She's like holding on, like, don't drop me, mommy. <laughs> but yeah, she, she wrinkles really, really, really nicely. Let me get her on her new diaper and then I'll show her a little bit more. Um, painting a silicone is, is fun. And I talk about this all the time. It's, really, it's, it's fun, the results is fun because once you're done with the matting process and you wash them, you can play with your babies. You don't have to weight them. You don't have to, you know, set the body, you know, all that. Because they're already together. Unless they're a partial. Then, of course, then you got to still do the whole weighting process. Kind of like, um, I did try to paint her girl bits very realistic. Can't show that, of course, on here. But, um, she does have a realistic one. And I did try to paint it realistic. But, yeah, so painting the, the, the silicone can be um, tedious. Um, 
it's very time consuming um, because you can't just go from one layer to the next layer to the next layer type thing with them like the Genesis um, the, the um, Reborns so but I do like that there's you don't have to bake them <laughs> so that's pretty cool um, but you know you're painting with the consistency of like honey and so um, sometime you know some some artist has mastered that sometimes the consistency of you know the smoothness of the the silicone as far as like without any flaws is very hard to do um, with pulling that silicone um, being so honey like um, so I guess that's why maybe a lot of people are like airbrushing now like they spray paint the babies to get a more even finish on them um, some people you know does it pretty nice you know and you know but I prefer hand painting and I prefer um, hand painted babies that I collect but um, you know everybody have their way and their preference but I can truly understand why they do it because it is a challenge to try to get the paint on smoothly and stuff like that so um, yeah and that's why like I could never give like a tutorial or tell anybody because the the silicone is just so unpredictable you just don't know like what's gonna happen you know every painting experience I've had has been different um, not one baby that I've painted have took the paint the same have had the same you know flow of experience I've had you know one issue with this one one issue with that one another issue with this one um but I think um although I get really fickle about it and I just really get really frustrated sometimes like I even said um I even said after Phoebe that I wasn't going to paint anymore actually I'm still saying that I have one custom which I'm going to take my time and do try to do my very best on when I try I'm going to do my very best to make that maybe super beautiful for her mommy or his mommy but I after that I think I'm going to take a, a little break from painting silicone um I'm a very manic person when I paint silicone like I get all hyped up and then the least little thing go wrong, I freak out and panic. So, um, I don't know. You know, like I said, it's it's fun. I really like, I, I like the fact that I don't have to bake. I love when the results are done. It's just, it's very rewarding. Um, but it is a little nerve-wracking, to be honest, because... You know, I'm new, I don't know, and then you trying to learn how, when you're mixing the colors, even though you can mix, and I like seeing if she's, like I said, she's very, very soft. She can definitely do the whole total bend thing, but, um, what was I doing? Oh, I was putting your shirt on. <laughs> I got distracted. Sorry, mama. Um... But even though you use the same colors, like I try to use the same colors that I use with my Reborns, but they just, they just, um, work differently on the, on the silicone. Oh, you're out of the frame now. <laughs> That's what mama get. Um, they just, they, they come differently. I did some veining on her, so she does have veining and stuff like that, um, like I said, she's not perfect, but she's perfect for me. Um, the camera, as always, will not pick up every single thing. Um, but I do try to use a good enough lighting to where I pick up 
to get it as close as I can to what I see in person. So she she does look good. I will say that she does look good. She is she I I feel that I did really good and compare it to the market. I think she's she's a really good nice baby. I I really do. I think that I did really well, especially for only being my seventh baby that I've painted in silicone. And being as soft as she is, you know, having to handle her and as big as she is, um, that's another thing. I like the, the the smaller babies are easier to handle, but I love this size baby because dressing and finding clothes and stuff like that is definitely easier. Um, so it's, you know, it's always a preference and it's the pros and cons. I love my smaller babies, but I love the size of these babies because when I go to find stuff to buy, I have more options. Um, I'm not a big clothes person, but every now and then, you know, you want something really cute for your baby. So, um, so that part, yes, but the bigger silicone is, you know, kind of challenging when you're trying to, to paint, paint them because you can't paint both sides at the same time. So you got to make sure that you match their coloring and all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's an interesting um, process. So very different from, from the Reborns, very different in my opinion. Um, but like I said, I, I, I love Phoebe so much. Um, I got her as close as I could to my skin tone and my real natural baby skin tone. Um, not when she was first born, but she was a little older than this when she got to be this, this skin tone. But, um, I, I really, really had that in mind. So it's like I have two two daughters in one in this this doll, because she her sculpt itself looked like one. Well, she looked like both sculpts, both daughters. But to me, she looked more like one of the others. So I I got that, and then I got the color like the other one. So that's what um that's why she's she's more of a sentimental baby too. And I love her softness. <laughs> like I love. I love laying her across my shoulder like it feels like I'm really really holding a real baby like I've I mean like she if to pick up a baby to want to hold a baby and feel the weight of a baby like to feel like the realness she is it for me um she is the one that I would gravitate to pick up um what else did I tell you so our hair is, yes, our hair is directionally rooted. It's very soft. It's a very, very dark color. It's not black, though. It's dark, dark brown. Um, she has really brown eyes. And, um, and she, she has um, rooted eyebrows. So, oh, you guys can't even see. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here and I'm like... Yeah, I was sitting there going, so I was doing that. But yeah, she's, so she's, she's, she's really a sweet baby. I put her on this background because I thought she would show up better this way. Um, but yeah, she has a lot of little um, clothes that I haven't put her on yet. But I'm trying not to do too much with her right now. Because I, I don't want, I'm going to have to clean her off really good again when I go back to do touch-ups on her. But I, did, but I can't help myself. And she has tons of clothes I just haven't did. I haven't did a haul video because I don't really particularly like doing them for me. I enjoy watching other people haul videos sometimes when they have like little odd pieces and stuff like that. But I don't particularly like to do them myself. I just prefer to just show you guys what the baby's wearing. Uh, when they're wearing it um so but yeah she has a quite a bit of stuff that i nested for her 
Um, so she said, I can change clothes all day, but mommy's just spacing it out because I don't want to do it every single day. But it's been hard, and she's kind of like skip a day here or there, but she's been being changed. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's baby Phoebe. I know this has been a long video. I think she's like 21 inches, 21, 22 inches, probably. I don't know. I think she's more 22, but that's just my thought process. But she's, she's a pretty long baby and really good size. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. It's a cute little button nose. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, as you guys see, I kind of darkened her ears a little bit, stuff like that. Just did little subtle things that I thought would be realistic for um, African ba American baby. And that's it. That's my girl. Like I said, she's she's as Pooh Bear would say, uber soft. <laughs> Um, but she has like really good softness. Yeah, I'm really soft, really soft baby. Perfect. Perfect for cuddling. She is definitely my, my pick of the litter, as the old folks would say. But I will talk to you guys later. I know this is a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed sharing with you guys and you will see more of Phoebe. If you want to see her photographs, um, check her out on Instagram. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Bye-bye.